Oh, hey, y'all. It's just me, Baltimore dude. Your favorite asshole they should have never given a microphone to. So, I want to talk to you about April. April's becoming like sweeps month or something, isn't it? Last April, we saw an injection of content into Destiny that was pretty relevant. And, I mean, they made some great strides in that update. Incredibly game-changing moves with that update. Okay? It, it really changed the direction of the game, the feel of the game. It just, it, it changed things. And now, we start hearing these rumors that, well, there might be an April update coming. And now we're all the way up to the plateau of some of the most respected content creators and people that are on the line with Bungie pretty much non-stop saying yes, confirmed, absolutely, unequivocally, there is going to be a very substantial April update that would bring the things you would normally expect. New shaders, new faction weapons, all kinds of new quests. And they're going to do what I predicted they were going to do. Not to pat myself on the back, but hey, hey, Baltimore dude, you the man. Patty Pat Pat. So anyway, they you gotta remember they've got most of their team focused on Destiny 2 right now. But they have to keep us busy between now and D2, which is looking like it's gonna be around September. So we already know that they can have success in an update like April how can and I'm thinking for Bungie here how can we spare very small amounts of staff and resource and create content to keep the Guardians busy while we're creating this work of art that we will call Destiny 2 well, what better way than to take an architecture that is already in place, a venue, a vault of glass that is already built, and bring it up to relevancy. You see, they started out by bringing up the prison of elders. elders. If you want to call it a raid, the least popular raid in destiny history so they started out by bringing that up now they're gonna bring up the vault of glass inside of this immensely cool april update and while all of this is going on we've got these live events that are going off weekly bi-weekly monthly whatever however whatever schedule they choose I would say monthly that they're going to have these live events and we've come to the point now that this is what we know and I am a thousand percent confident in telling you there is going to be a very large April update not a DLC but a very large update that brings the Vault of Glass back to relevancy and we're going to be able to win back our fate bringers and VOCs and all those things and it makes all the sense in the world for Bungie because they're only going to have to spare I don't know two three maybe four people at the very most to oversee and enact these projects 
because everything's pretty much there. Their their job is really just tweaking. That's all they're doing. It's all there. It's all right in front of them. It's kind of like you've got all the ingredients to bake the cake now. Mix the motherfucker up and put it in the oven. So they're putting it in the oven. It's already been mixed. It's ready to go in the oven. And it's going to come out a beautiful, delicious piece of content in April. And beyond April, rumor is that there's going to be another update and maybe one more after that. And the live events that will keep us busy into Destiny 2. So that will allow them to dedicate a very minimal amount of staff to making these updates and the live team doing these events while most of the studio can still focus on Destiny 2 and all the things they're doing in that. And I've mentioned many, many times that they have a, a log of data that is thick as a Bible now that they know what Guardians want. They know what we will tolerate. They know what is our favorite, what is our least favorite, what we will complain the most about, what we will praise the most. They know this now because they've had all this time to collect data from us and they're not coming in blind like they did when they first released Destiny. So going into Destiny 2, there's so much they know about us. And Activision, and I mentioned it in another video, but you guys can go look it up. They made it very clear that they sat down in a boardroom and had a face-to-face -face meeting with Bungie and they have devised what they and Bungie feel like is a spectacular content plan that will allow people upon being holders of season passes to get a fresh dose of substantial content every single month. I'm not talking about a map at it or one new gun or a little bit of chroma we're talking about dlc quality stuff april update quality stuff every single month so they know going into destiny 2 what their plan is so there are no droughts there will be no droughts in destiny 2 People really overreact to the droughts we've had in Destiny 1. And absolutely, it's been a desert around here at times. But there's always something you can find to do. And now with private matches and with all the raids and you can do challenges. And the private matches really just... It, it busted everything wide open. You can create any kind of custom game you want. Hell, I saw Mr. Fruit ski shooting people out of the air. So, you can do whatever the hell you want to do now with private matches. And all the things that still exist in Destiny while you're still playing some other games. And... Keeping yourself sharp and ready for the next thing. So, the purpose of this video, other than I just felt like rambling about a wide variety of things with no real point. Do I ever really have a specific point? Not often. But, <laughs> there will be another update that Crota will be brought back to relevancy and beyond that is a big mystery we don't know i mean we know the iron banner is gonna pop up 
and probably Crimson Days, but a much more in-depth Crimson Days with a lot more and different rewards. So that is pretty much the state of Destiny as I see it right now. And the dawning is winding up. I think it's been a good time. And I'm going to do a video about the dawning once it's over with my in-depth thoughts of what it was, what it wasn't, what it could have been, what it should have been, what it ended up being. And that's going to about do it for this video i am baltimore dude as always don't forget to check out the description in case there's any afterthoughts and my contact info will be down there as always and thank you guys so much please don't forget to drop a thumbs up bang the subscribe button leave a comment I would really, really appreciate if we can bang out more subscriptions and thumbs up. And that's about it for this one. I'm Baltimore Dude. You're the Dude Crew. And that's pretty much what's happening right now. And I'll catch you on the flip.